representing Safe Lake Panure. And with me are Mary Lee Orr, <coughs> Executive Director of Lean, and Glow, who's known by everybody who sends out all the emails to the world. Thank you, Glow. Lake Panure was drained in 1980. At that time, we had very bad environmental damage to the lake and it refilled from a freshwater lake into a brine lake. Things went well until 1994 when a company came along and decided they were going to put in two natural gas storage caverns underneath Lake Panur in our salt dome at the Jefferson Island Salt Dome. People protested, they fought it, they went to court, they spent $50,000 in lawyers fees and lost. Back in 2005, another company came along and decided they were going to put in two to three more caverns underneath Lake Panur. There are 4,000 citizens that live in a one mile radius of the lake. It supplies, we have the Chico Aquifer beneath us, which supplies 15 parishes. For eight years, we've been fighting the company. We've done nothing but battle, go to court go to uh, legislation, and we've lost. Well, with me is Chico Aquifer water. It's coming from our well. Our well is pure and clean. The water's been tested. So I brought some cups, paper cups, to share with you. What we're trying to do, and what we've done this year, is that we had a bill that passed, and we've come to a solution, a minor solution, but a, a step in the right direction where we're working and talking with the company. And that has been something different. We're asking, we've been asking for an environmental impact statement, which is a federal state study. We're working towards that goal. And we feel that some negotiation is possible. We have a moratorium for a year and a half until uh, September, January 31st. 